Um, welcome, Caroline. Next up, we have Caroline Sullivan. Caroline was elected to the Wake County Board of Commissioners in 2012 and currently serves as the vice chair. Welcome, Caroline. Hi, y'all. I have no slides. Um, and I actually had to bring my talking points because politicians, if you limit us to five minutes, we really do need to have to stay on message or else we might be here all night. Um, thank y'all so much for inviting me. I'm so excited to be here. Um, Wake County um, believes in the talents of its citizens and the power of open data to bring this talent to life. Well, that's our mission statement for tonight. Um, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about our new um, open data portal and how we can work together to do great things for our community. Um, now, most people don't understand what the county does. They don't know who we are. We do lots of things, too many things to talk about in five minutes. But one thing we have a lot of, we have a lot of data. And we want to share it with you so we can do great things together. A um, Couple of things we want to do with this data. Number one, we want to give you the information that you need to really understand your government. We want to give you the information that you need to find ways that you can actually help your community. And we want to give you the information that you need so you can help us solve complex public policy issues. Now on the first point, what you want to know about your government, we need to know what kind of data you would like to see. We have thousands of data sets and we don't want to clutter the portal with unnecessary or redundant ones, so please tell us what you'd like to have access to. On the second point, what ideas do you have to use this data for the common good? What kind of things are you interested in achieving? How can we help you? And we are here to help you try to bring these ideas to life. We want to work as partners with you instead of against you. And perhaps we can um, get rid of some of that red tape that tends to get cluttered up when citizens have ideas for government. And on the last point, let me just tell you how I feel about our community and data when it comes to public policy. Um, we have very complex problems that face us. And they're hard to solve. But what I also know about this community is we have the most talented, innovative, um, creative people in anywhere in the country. And I really believe that if we all work uh, cohesively and if we're all rowing in the same um, direction, there really is not a lot that we can't solve. Um, renowned statistician William Edwards Deming once said, in God we trust, all others must bring data. Data, there's meaning to data. Data tells a story. Data shines the light on a problem. Data can show us the path to the solution. Data can also help measure our success, which in government is very important. You cannot have effective government this day and age without a strong reliance on good data. There are two, I'm gonna give you two examples of big issues facing the county, and it was a nice little segue before with the other speaker. Uh, transit and mental health. Now, the, the problem with the fare box thing, it's true, but a lot, pretty much roads don't make a profit, schools don't make a profit, and shelters don't make a profit. A lot of what government does doesn't make a profit. It is done for the good of the citizens. Right now, we are actually in the process of planning for our um, transit system, future transit system. Um, Bill over there has some flyers. It's on our website, um, waketransit.org. Um, um, and we really do want y'all to get involved and figure out how you can use this data that's available to y'all to help us try to figure out how to make this system better. It's going to have a transformational effect on our community and we really do need people to get engaged in the planning process um, so we can make sure that we get a good system. The second thing I want to talk on is why I was late tonight. Um, I was over at Wake Med uh, talking to a group about the uh, increase in involuntary commitments in their emergency departments. This is a big problem. And I believe that data is part of the solution. It's a two-pronged solution. Um, one is getting the people, the, the public policy leaders together uh, to think about solutions, but the second really is data. And when we get to the, we're working on the, the, the getting the leaders together to, to figure out what we need to do from a policy standpoint. But once we get to that, we do need help with people to try to figure out how we can, the data can point us to the solution of the things that we need to do to, to help solve this incredibly complicated crisis that we have. So I'm so excited about things that our new portal can do and I'm so excited to be here and thank y'all a lot. Thanks, Karen. 
and, th and those are two in oh can't take a second those are two intriguing problems but I, that to, to to look into and work to solve and i think one thing that i think everybody should take away from caroline's talk is that it we live in a community where we have elected officials who get it and caroline thank you for your interest in this thank you or caring about data, recognizing the benefit they can have for our, our county, our city, and so thank you for coming out.